Hey guys, Slug Jones here, gonna be doing another video. Uh, this one, uh, I really tested these just for my own entertainment and figured I'd go ahead and upload them to YouTube as well. But what I did was I had a 4790K and I upgraded to an 8600K. Uh, I have a 1063 gig card, which is most definitely the bench, uh, the bottleneck, I'm sorry. And so I lowered everything to low settings at 720p. Uh, to kind of put the pressure on the CPUs and pull it off of the GPU so we don't have a GPU bottleneck. Um, both systems have 16 gigs of RAM. The uh, 4790K had 1,866 megahertz of DDR3, and the 8600K had uh, DDR4 at 2,666 megahertz. Uh, now what I did here is a split screen, uh, I tried to, it's my first attempt at split screen so you have to forgive the, the shoddy quality of it, but on the left side you're going to have the 40, or I'm sorry, on the left side is the 8600K, on the right is the 4790K, and as you can see the, the this pretty much tells you all you need to know, about 245 frames per second with the uh, 8600K versus 210 with the 4790K. Now at 1080p uh, at higher settings or higher 4K, 2K, the um, the 4790K and 8600K when you have a GPU bottleneck they're going to perform just about identical uh, in most things. Uh, so really no need to upgrade if that's the case. Now um, the 4790K is still an amazing chip, it really is. Uh, if you're wanting to upgrade to, uh, you know, something newer, then I would go ahead and upgrade to like an 8700K probably at least, or hold out until the newer chips come out from Intel, which I believe they're talking about at the end of the year this year sometime, quarter three or four. Um, so you might wait out. Uh, I'm not regretful that I went ahead and upgraded to the 8600K. I do see a boost in most things. I did some Cinebench benchmarking and the 8600K definitely beats the 4790K. Uh, Multi-core, they were about the same if I remember correctly. Uh, of course the i7 4790K is a quad core with four core hyper threaded. Whereas the 8600K is just six cores. Uh, and so they ended up being about the same, if I remember correctly, on Cinebench multi-core benchmark. Single core, the 8600K wins. The IPC is a little bit better on it. Um, now, I went ahead and this test here is just a single video. It's just the 8600K at mixed uh, ultra settings. Uh, just trying to max out the performance of my 1060 and I benchmarked both the 4790K and the 8600K at these higher settings and they performed identically of course because the, the bottleneck was definitely at the GPU here so just kind of showing you that you know if you got a 4790K and, and a GPU is 1060 or higher and you're playing at higher uh, frame uh, resolution can't even talk then you're probably going to want to go ahead and stick with your 4790K in a year or two more uh, still a great chip. Uh, I think per core it's still up there with the 2700X, uh, the AMD's newer chips. So uh, it's by no means a slouch if you got a 4790K. But that said, the 8600K is, is an upgrade. It really is. It's an upgrade. It's not the biggest upgrade ever, but it is definitely an upgrade. So if you got the money, definitely go ahead and spend a little bit more and get the 8700K at least. Or wait until the new chips come out from uh, Intel. They're coming out with some new chips, uh, quarter three, I think, or four of 2018 here. Uh, and they should uh, be a little bit more powerful, give you a little bit more bang for your buck when upgrading. Uh, otherwise, uh, both chips are great chips. Uh, 8600K is kind of the winner here, as it should be. Uh, I'll be doing some more tests, too, coming up here pretty soon. I've got some PUBG benchmarks, um, Witcher 3 benchmarks, stuff like that. Kind of show a comparison between the two uh, chips to see if, uh, if you want to upgrade. Um, but otherwise, that's it. That's the end of the video. I thank you for watching. Uh, hopefully, my next videos will be a little bit more professional, but I had this one already done, and I thought I'd go ahead and upload it. Thank you. Bye-bye.